Next, let's discuss how we work together to design the transit system. Some system networks are designed to reduce the number of transfers between buses or ferries required to make an average trip. These networks emphasize single seat trips where you can usually get where you need to go without needing to switch buses or seats. In some cases, avoiding transfers in a transit network is ideal. Transferring can be a hassle, especially when the weather isn't great or when you need to wait a long time for your connection. However, when we try to create a transit system without transfers, we sometimes end up overlaying many different routes on top of each other, and the network can become complicated and hard to understand. That's part of the reason why many transit networks require the users to transfer from one transit route to another in order to get to their destination. In a carefully planned network, transfers can shorten the length of time it takes to make an average trip by traveling as direct a route as possible and by offering more frequent service. They can also help to build a more simplified network and make the transit system easier to understand. This in turn allows passengers to travel to new destinations more readily and hopefully improves ridership. The other advantage of building a system around transfer points is that it allows you to reduce the number of long routes. Long transit routes are advantageous when you have long distances to travel and don't want to risk missing a transfer. But often, the further a route travels, the more likely it is to get caught in traffic somewhere along the way. Having shorter routes that riders transfer can actually increase the reliability of your transit service. This example shows two ways to take transit between an origin and a destination. The transfer option will have you at your destination faster, even though you will need to transfer to another route. On the other hand, though it may take longer, you can get from your origin to your destination without having to transfer. Once you're on the bus, you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. So, which model do you think Metro Transit should pursue in the next five years? A network focused on single-seat rides or one that focuses on transfers?